Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's another great day to discuss other people's excellence. I'm the unforgettable one himself, and we got an important one for you, man. We're back. It is that time, ladies and gentlemen. It is our first mock draft of the year. Still way too early. Still way too early. We get it. But we did this last year. You guys loved it. We're going to do it again. Um, Just a couple things before we get started. Uh, I'm recording this November 9th before the uh, Bears-Panthers game. And I get it. That's probably the most important game as to decide the number one pick, which is very important in this year's draft. But here's why I'm doing that. Uh, A couple of reasons. One. This is still technically week nine, which is the halfway point of the season, which is why I wanted to do it this week. Uh, I didn't want to cheat and wait till week 10, even though this is an important game. I wanted to do I wanted to do a week nine. That's that's one thing. Two, it doesn't really matter. Let's be real. It's we still have so much time left. There's plenty of time for the draft order to shake up. So whether I did it this week or next week, that doesn't matter um, because, you know, there's a we don't know how the draft order will be once draft day actually gets here you know what i mean like remember last year we it was a lock deal that houston was going to get it all the way up to the final week of the season and they didn't have the number one pick so you know even though this is probably the biggest game of the year in terms of figuring out who's going to have the number one pick uh at the end of the day it's not that big of a deal because we still don't know how this is going to play out and three this is going to be a mock draft with trades. As you guys know, who you know who've been following this, I always do mock drafts with trades. I think it's more realistic. You're never going to see a NFL draft without trades, especially in the first round. So we're going to do trades anyway. So draft order doesn't necessarily matter right now anyway, because I'm going to mix it up with trades to begin with. Um, for those of y'all who are new, the reason why we do this is we want to have a snapshot in history, right? For the, so there's a lot of people that get very confused about how the draft process works because they don't really follow it. They don't really pay attention to it. And so they get confused. Like, wait, how did this player who was supposed to be the number one pick in the draft all of a sudden is like falling out of the first round? Or how did this guy that I've never even heard of now is a top five player? Well, this is why we do this, right? Where it's a snapshot in history. We basically do it like if the draft were to start today, who would get drafted and where? So you can understand these prospects. You can understand where they are, and you can see how far they fall and rise, and you'll know why. Because we'll keep doing this throughout. throughout. Um, I won't do another one until probably the end of the regular season. Um, Because, again, it's still a little bit too early, but we always like, you know, I always like to do one just in season just to just to, you know, dip our feet in the water and, you know, do stuff like that. All right. So let's get started again. This you're you're going to see this on Monday, but this is before week 10's games. So if you're looking at this and you're saying, well, this draft order doesn't look right, it's because it's done. This was done before week 10's games before I'm doing this Thursday afternoon before the Panthers and Bears even play each other so I just want to throw that caveat out there let's get started all right all right so with the number one pick I'm making a trade here um and this is a trade that I've been saying I really I truly believe it's going to happen uh here we go the washington commanders um now again a part of me did want to wait till after this pick because i truly believe the carolina is going to have the number one pick kyler murray's coming back um arizona's going to win games and the giants are probably the only team bad enough to 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 uh challenge carolina for that number one pick again if you're chicago you you better do everything you can to win this game tonight to ensure that if Carolina is still on track to get the number one pick. But I digress. But the reason why that's important for this specific trade, we didn't do a pod on our trade deadline. It was just bad, you know, a ridiculous week for both of us. But I was going to talk about the brilliance of the of the Montez Sweat trade for Washington. Again, I've been telling y'all, look out for Washington. New owner. You know how Magic Johnson gets down. Y'all know how Josh Harris gets down. I truly believe they're going to trade up 
to try to get Caleb Williams because they need that, right? That franchise needs this a total reset and they need a face of this total reset. I think they're going to change the name again. I think they're going to announce plans for a new stadium. And so having a franchise quarterback, no offense to Sam Howell, who's played pretty well, he's been up and down, but you know, he looks good. He's not, he's not the type of guy that makes a franchise excited. You get a guy like Caleb Williams that changes everything. And to me, the Montez Sweat trade to, to to Chicago was such a huge get because what this allows them to do is if and when Chicago has this number one pick, they can just trade it right back to them, All right? They got a second rounder for Montez Sweat. They can give that right back to them and, and you know, give them a bunch of stuff, just a bunch of other stuff, including their own pick back to move up. But again, Arizona's here, so we're going to just use the same trade scenario for um for Arizona. So they're so they're getting a 1 and a 2 this year. Um a 1 and a 3 next year. Um and normally, hold on. Normally they allow you to add more years than just 2025. But okay, I guess not. So what we'll do is we're gonna, you know, let's just say they're giving up another pick in 2026 because they, they are going from 12 to one. And again, this trade makes a lot more sense for Chicago than Arizona, obviously, because Chicago would still be sitting here. So even if one of their picks is all the way back at 12, they'll still have a top three pick. Um but again, this is just for the, this is more for the purposes of the players themselves, not the team. So it's okay. So we're gonna force this trade, and here is Washington to draft Caleb Williams. There you go. Um, for Chicago, I think we're gonna have another trade here. I, I think if you're the Giants, you have to move up and get this and get your guy. You cannot sit there and let somebody else come up. And t- and steal the quarterback that you need. Again, now this one's not going to cost as much because you're only going from four to two. Um, but it's still going to cost. You know, what I mean, they're still going to tax you. Uh, and yeah, we're going to force this trade through, and we are going to draft Drake May. So now, if you are the Bears. In this scenario, this is actually perfect for you, all right? In this scenario, you got the trade back. You still got some stuff. You're sitting here at three and four, and the two guys that you want to draft are still here. You're going to get Marvin Harrison Jr. to help out uh, to help out uh, Justin Fields, and you're going to protect him with Olu Fashanu. Boom, here you go. So that's the things that I wanted to do with this. Now, in terms of the Patriots, the Patriots are kind of in a – interesting spot they could probably just gonna have to sit here and take joe alt it's not really a spot that people are going to trade up to get i know some people believe that there's going to be all these quarterbacks taken in the first round and there might be i just don't see them all going in the top 10 i know that there's a lot of teams that need a quarterback i know that it's a good quarterback class but to me personally and this and again well this is a snapshot in time to me personally, I just think Williams and May are the only two guys that are going to go in the first in the uh, top ten. Everybody else, I think we're going to see drop a little bit, just a little bit. Uh, maybe, maybe if we get closer to that tenth pick, maybe. But I, I don't see the upside in in trading up into or even or even if you're a team that needs a quarterback, selecting a guy, uh, either Bo Nix or Michael Penix Jr. Or even Shador, if he comes out, I don't see them take. I don't see them with those guys going that early. Okay, if you are the Rams, again, you would probably love to trade out of this pick. The problem is, who is here that people are going to want to get? Uh the answer is not. I mean, Brock Bowers, as good as he is, he's still a tight end. I don't see anybody trading up to get that that guy. Um, you could go def- uh, defensive line if you're the Rams. You could go Kool-Aid McKinstry, try to fix that the uh, secondary. 
that's not a bad shout either. Um, yeah, if you're the Rams, you kind of want to get out of this pick, if we're being honest. <laughs> the next three teams are probably thinking, man, I wish we could trade back. Um, I What I'm going to do is I'm going to give them – Yeah, I just don't see who would want to take this pick. Ah, oh, Arizona trading backup makes sense, actually. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do Arizona. Let's do Arizona trading back up. Um, it'll probably cost them. I mean, I guess you can give 35 up if you wanted to. But tra- or 33. Yeah, you could give up 33 knowing you have 35, and then you'll probably have to throw in uh, a third rounder next year. Uh, Unless you got to... Oh wait, what what did Miami give up to get from twelve to six? I can't remember. I think it's a good. You're giving up a second rounder, and you're giving up a first and third next year to to move up. Yeah, I think I think it's a good trade on. Okay, and with this pick. As you can tell, I do this live. I'm not. I'm. I, I just do this live. Um, and with this pick, there's a lot of places they can go to. They can go with. I kind of like going receiver here, only because they're obviously making the commitment to to Kyler Murray to try to see what they can do with him. Um, getting a wide receiver, a, a dynamic receiver here would be great. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with, is this what? Yeah, I'm going to go with Keon Coleman. Give him a, a big, tall receiver like he had in D-Hop um, that he could just make plays with once, you know, once he's scrambling around and looking for things downfield. So I, I really do like that pick um, for the for the Cardinals. Okay. Um, and then, again, they pick again at 15, so they can still get some of the things they want. With the Green Bay Packers, I'm going to go offensive line here. Jazan Newton makes sense. Um, actually, you know what? They need a left tackle, and all the left tackles are kind of taken. Huh. We know they're not going to go offensive player, because why would they ever do that? Um, You know what? I'm going to go to Jason Newton here. Yeah, I like that pick for them. Okay. For the Rams. So now here's where you might see quarterback. If if you believe in Bo Nix that much to take him eighth overall, it's possible. Um, let's just see. Teams that might want to trade back up. Is Brock Bauer somebody that people are going to be fiending to get up? I just don't know. He's a tight end. I know he's I know he's Travis Kelsey, but still. Um Yeah, if I'm if I'm if I'm Tampa Bay, I need to trade back here. The question is to who? Who am I trading back for? And what who is trading up to get somebody? I you know what? I do kind of like this. Let's do this. 
Uh, they're going to have to give up. Yeah, let's do that. And the Raiders are going to move up to get Jared Verse. Put him on the other side of Max Crosby. Now that now they got some, now they got a really good pass rush um, for that defense. I like that a lot. Um, again, <clears throat> I know people are going to say quarterback, but I just don't see it. I, I don't see it for them. Maybe I'll have them trade up later. If you're the Broncos, um, that kind of screws you over, which is another reason why I did it. Uh, <laughs> not to be mean, but you know. Um, but I think they'll just go ahead and take Latu Latu here. Um, now Tennessee, Brock Bowers to Tennessee. That sounds like something they would actually really, really like. I kind of like that. Will Levis, Brock Bowers. And that offense, the way they want to run that offense, they didn't trade Derrick Henry. I kind of like that. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, the Falcons. Uh, I don't know what to do with the Falcons. You, I want to give them. They, they also need a quarterback. Yeah, so maybe these guys will go earlier. Wow. Wow. <laughs> There's a lot of teams that need quarterbacks. So maybe these guys will go earlier. I just can't. No, nah, I can't do that to them. I can't do it to them. Can't do that to them. Um... You know what? Let's do this. Let's do Kool-Aid McKinstry for the Falcons. Okay. And then the Rams, they traded back. Uh, and trading back, what does that allow them to do? They could go Leonard Taylor here to help out with. I like to, actually I do like that. Help Aaron Donald out, man. Let's do that. Uh, the Colts. This is easily a wide receiver here. Easily, I wanted to do Brock Brock Bowers to this team. Um, but yeah, let's 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 get Anthony Richardson some more weapons, man. Uh, and Malik Neighbors. I'm a fan of Malik Neighbors. Um, uh, what I'm gonna do is, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. I'm, I'm let's do that. And now here's where I'll take Bo Nix. For the well, for the Pan Bay Buccaneers, I truly believe they're they'll bring back Mike Evans. Um. So yeah, we're gonna do that. Uh, the Arizona Cardinals. They traded. Who did they? What did they do? They went Keon Coleman. So now let's get them some offensive line help. Fulaga, let's see again. Fulaga, if you remember, we did our way too early, uh, our our early look twenty twenty four. He wasn't even on the board. Now he's a now he's a guy that's gonna go in the top. He could go top ten. So again, snapshot of history. He's the main. He's one of the reasons why we do this. Um, I kind of screwed them because I kind of wanted to say Cooley McKinstry for them, but I took him to the Falcons instead. Uh could we go Kalen King here? I 
I have Kalen King as my second corner. Should I go off into a lot? Uh, let's go off for Salon. Let's take Fuego here. The Jets are sitting here praising God that there are still tackles on the board. I should have I should have had the Steelers trade up again and get and get this tackle from them. Uh, I'm going to go J.C. Latham here for the Jets. Um, the Chargers. Oh. They like their huge, their big tight end. I mean, their big old uh, receivers. It's a little too early to take one here. Brock Bowers would have been great for them. Um, Defensive line. Who's still here for the defensive line? It's too early. Yeah, it's too early to take linebacker. Yeah, they're kind of in no man's land here. Um, you know what? No, let's give them elite neighbors. They need a different type of wide receiver. They keep going for the same types of wide receivers. Get let's give them somebody different. That also screws over Buffalo, who needs a wide receiver as a second wide receiver as well. I took Roma Dunes already. I did to the Colts. Ooh. Wow. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> um, the Bill, they need a wide receiver. I think that they might reach on a wide receiver too. There's still plenty of wide receivers though. Oh, wait, Emeka Obuka on this team would be nasty, actually. Let's do that. Let's do Emeka Obuka. Okay, the Saints. Uh, yeah, let's get Chop Robinson. Let's get some more pass rush along with Cam Jordan on that defensive line. I like that. Um, The Vikings. Now, the, a lot of people like this pick for them. I kind of like it as well. Michael Penix Jr. throwing to Jordan Addison and Justin Jefferson. You know he looks good in purple. Same with Caleb Williams. You know he looks good in that maroon and yellow. I kind of like that. Uh, the Dallas Cowboys. I actually kind of want them to go... Uh, I think Kalen King here would be great for them. For my Steelers, I'm sorry. I'm not even thinking twice about it. I'm not even thinking twice about it. We are taking a Marius Mims. Get my two Georgia linebackers, my two Georgia tackles, I should say, and Broderick Jones and a Marius Mims. Solidify that offensive line, and we should be good to go. Okay, the Houston Texans. The surprise team of the year so far. Um, linebacker would be huge here. Dallas Turner along with Will Anderson sounds amazing. I think I like that. I'm going to go with that. Okay, the Bungles. The Cincinnati Bungles. Um... Who's left on the tackles? Not much. Brock Bowers is gone. 
Um, I mean, they got. I guess they have no choice. I guess they kind of have no choice. I'm going to go with Jordan Morgan here. All right. Uh, oh, perfect. Braylon tries from Washington going to Seattle. That makes sense. Uh, Niners have zero secondary. Cooper DeGene could kind of go all over the – could play a, a lot of different positions. Nate Wiggins is decent as well, but he's a big, tall corner, correct? Yeah, he's 6'2". Um, Yeah, not gonna tell me that. That's cool. Thanks for thanks for the analysis. Um, I want to figure out if he's better in. That's all right. We're just gonna draft him. Nate Wiggins to the Niners makes sense. Okay. Graham Barton, Cameron Kitchens makes sense for the Dolphins as well. In the Dolphins, you probably want to trade back if we're being honest. But who are we trading back with? You're the Panthers. I think you do have to trade up to get a wide receiver at some point. The question is, when are you going to pull the trigger? Well, I guess we could do it now. Why not? Why not? 27, we'll probably give up. We only got to give up like a third rounder, I think. Yeah, let's do that. And then let's go get our wide receiver one of the future. Now here's a now here's the real question. Do you want Johnny? What do you want just a, a tall receiver that he could just th Bryce Young just throw it up to? Or do you want some of these other kind of playmaking types? Um A.D. Mitchell's kind of the better one out of the Texas dudes. Yeah, I think it's kind of the best of both worlds. Let's do that. They like and they like they like getting the Carolina guys too. Anyway, Let, let's be real. So yeah, let's go with that. Okay. Now, if you are the Jacksonville Jaguars, how do you not go Cooper DeGene here or Cam Kitchens? Going edge makes sense too, though. They don't have much edge. They're still waiting for Trayvon Walker to kind of develop. Now let's give our number one overall overall pick another year to develop before before we replace them. So let's go DB, and I'm gonna go Cam Kitchens here. Let's do that. Uh, okay, the Lions the. Team that kind of doesn't need it much either. Cooper just makes a lot of sense here. Uh, 
interior lineman. Yeah. Not the greatest class for interior lineman. Although some of these rankings are ridiculous. There's no way these guys are ranked that well. Um, yeah, we're probably just gonna have to go. Uh let's just see what other corners are still on the board. Josh Newton isn't bad. Denzel Burke. Yeah, let's go Denzel Burke. He fits more what they want to do. Okay. The Ravens are still looking for receivers, which is ridiculous to think about. <laughs> um, You know what? Because I'm a masochist and I like torturing myself. Yeah, let's give let's just give freaking Lamar Jackson a six seven freaking nature target to throw to. Again, I'm a masochist. I I like I like I I like hurting myself. I don't know. Kansas City, they're also going to go wide receiver. A D Mitchell, again, why? And you know what? We're just going to keep the party going because if you are. Hold on, let me let me let me chill out for a second. Let me just chill out for a second. If you're the Eagles, there's no Georgia players available here, unfortunately for you. But Xavier Worthy in the slot sounds crazy. Xavier Worthy in the slot. Sounds crazy, but he's played. He's played some in the slot. Not much, but he's played some in the slot. He can probably do it. Yeah, I think. Let's do that. Xavier Worthy. Boom. All right. This is a video for the first round. I'll do the drop the second round on Tuesday. Um, I am never, I'm for Rebel One. That's never for Brett Me. N E V A underscore number four B R E T T underscore M E on Instagram and Twitter. We are the dope blog, all one word on Twitter, the underscore dope blog on Instagram and threads. And because you're watching this on YouTube, please like, share, and subscribe. And join us next time as we continue to discuss other people's excellence. Deuces.